Hello everyone, Beckstead here, and this is Season 1, Episode 4 of my Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within, Long War. Let's get into it. As I remember, there's probably not much we can do here. We've got some things we're waiting on. Check out engineering real quick. So we excavated this bot, and we can, so that means we can excavate this one and have access to all of them. How can we build a fusion generator? No, I've already got one over here. It's going to give me more power. Let's go in here and just scan for activity, see what we got. UFO large. What do I have ready? One guy. I don't think that's going to be enough. Let's give it a shot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way I can handle something that big right now. Let's hope it's just moving in for an abduction, and we can go to the abduction site. UFO 2 has landed. Are you kidding? So we have the option of having a sky range, sending the sky ranger and our troops down there. This is a large UFO, and I've played missions like that before, and they are just filled with bad guys. I'm gonna ignore it, just because I don't think I would be, I would even stand a chance against something like that. Come on. Mexico has lost face in the in the XCOM project. Uh, this is okay. Somewhere early along in the game, on every game, one country from the XCOM project just jumps out without any forewarning. Um, even though the panic level is very far down, they just jump out. And I think it has to do with something later on in the game. Okay, our fusion generator is done. Let's see what we can build now. Oh, not items. Facilities. Actually, zero days remaining. Laboratory, workshop, foundry. You know, let's build a, a laboratory. That's going to help my research go by faster, and that really, like, waiting 18 days for a research thing is ridiculous. Okay, excavation complete. Let's take a look. Maybe we can build another research facility. Oh, I need more scientists for that. Let's build a fusion generator down the side. If I get power, power buildings down the side, I should be able to save the recipes for other things. Okay, scan for more activity. Another. Ignore. I can't. I can't do this. Okay, they went for an abduction. Okay. So let's handle that. We're tracking several reported abductions via the hollow road. I've got the coordinates locked in. Okay, so this is Urban Block, several buildings in a large combat zone. Alright. Something like a shotgun would be handy there. Some gunners, a medic, and a sniper. And then, because that these are our guys that are gonna be able to to uh help out here and then let's take a couple rookies just because we need them to be promoted okay so sparkle we already know I'm gonna name this one okay so it's an assault with a shotgun I like to give them alien trophies so they never are in panic. And they don't need laser sight because they're all going to be up close and personal. Let's do high caps mag. Okay. Uh, medic. Oh, you know what? I forgot to give him stuff. 
definitely want him with medkit. And we're going to give him something, a smaller gun, so he can have more movement. I like to have him be able to run around everywhere. Laser sight would be good. Yeah, let's keep him with the laser sight. And then our sniper. Doesn't need a med kit. I want them to have as much aim as possible. And I want them to not have to reload as often. And I'm always going to give my sniper... Pink hair. Make the connections if you'd like. Okay, our rookie, we're going to give him um, not a med kit, but laser sight. And not two grenades. Laser sight. Alright, here we go. Looks like a couple large buildings. Here we go. Skip that part. We took a long time at the base, I just want to get right into it. So we've got buildings on either side of us, and an alleyway in between. I'm going to go to this building first, and we'll go through and see if we can take anybody out over here, and leave the other side of the map alone until we get this side secured. We're going to take a few more chances on this. Doesn't seem like they've sparked anybody over here, so we'll just... Everybody runs this way. Of course, for my sniper, the ultimate thing would be to get up on the roof. Does this roof have any, what, any access to get up? Uh, it doesn't look like it from this side. Let's get the sniper right there, in case there are some aliens up here on the road that she can have shot at. Everyone else is running this way. My problem with going inside this building is there are these windows all the way across it, so if there's enemies up here, they can see me in there. Time to turn the corner, so I want a rookie to do it. Let's go walk right around the corner, rookie, and see if anybody shows up. Nothing. How about over here? Nothing. We've got. Wow. Okay. We'll keep going, I guess, until somebody shows up. So the thing about this sniper is that once she moves, she can't shoot on that same turn. So I had to steady my weapon because she can't even overwatch on the second turn. Anybody around? Okay, they're up there. We can see sort of through here. Sometimes we can spot some aliens before we actually aggro the pack. So let's just run the rookie up. He's expendable, right? Nothing yet. Wow. I mean, this is a large combat zone, but... 
Of course, of course. Okay, first of all, sniper. Since you're here and your weapon is steadied. Got one. Secondly, the assault class gives you the skill to run and gun, which is what we're going to do here. Meaning you can run all the way through to the yellow line and still have a shot at the end. So I just need to get up close with my, with my shotgun. 100%, 95%. Drop him like a duck, I guess. I just shot him. Can you see him from here? Yes. Oh, you could. How about the rookie? Why don't you just walk right here? I think you can see him from right there. Just barely. Wow. With a 38% chance. So, we had to scramble for that one, but we got it. We got a couple of guys out of cover. Hopefully another pack doesn't show up. Okay, looks good. Why not just send my medic way out into the open? That's a good strategy plan, right? Okay, sniper. You just need to be coming as well. Everybody's just running full force. Now her, her run and gun skill has a two turn cooldown, so I won't be able to use it for a little while, but if we station her right there and throw her on overwatch, give this rookie a chance to get up here. Okay, let's see what we've got. Actually behind us now is where the sounds are coming from and where aliens are. I don't know if we should just turn and press that way or if we should continue around the building and try and secure that. We could go through the building and into the alleyway. Can you get up to that mail canister? How about on the roof? Get on the roof yet? There's my access right there to the roof. So what I want is this medic, this rookie, and my sniper to go around this backside and meet the guys on the other side. I'm going to have my other three guys go through the building and meet them head on. So you guys are going this way. Sparkle. Rookie. Yep, 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 I hear him. And Croft. There's somebody. This isn't the pack that was from behind us. This guy's climbing up onto the roof. You can see him walking up there. So he's going to have some kind of an extra shot on us. Or a better aiming shot. They don't know we're in the building. So let's go right here and surprise him. Hope he collected that. He's still in full cover. Move him up here. He's got a view of everybody. Ooh. 65, 65. I like that. Just a part of the aiming angles. 
Uh, it didn't help though, did it? And unfortunately, I can't move over to this dumpster. That would give me a great flanking shot on him. Okay, all right. One. Oh boy. My sniper just can't get into a good position to set up. Just barely. Okay. Everyone else is moving up. abilities to that guy. Can he see me? I guess we'll find out. Oh, he's coming down. Okay, that's actually better for me. The only people he can shoot at is in full cover, and he's going into half cover to overwatch. Okay. Hey, you know what? I've got some really good shots on you guys right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep taking him. That's where I want you to be. Oh, good. Just barely missed. Now I've got the good shots. I can't shoot with my sniper this round. And I'm going to pause for a second while with these guys. Because I really want it to be a, a surprise. The funny thing about it to me is they don't realize that I have a better shot at them because of the way I'm positioned and the way that they're positioned. And everyone's just overwatching? What are you going to do? Overwatch? Okay. Okay, from the door. Got him. Still got a good percentage on here. one here. Actually, head over to my sniper. She's got two flanking shots. 89 and 89. Let's just let's take the one that's overwatching. Beautiful. And now I can actually move my rookie up and flank him. Alright, we got through that pack. I believe there's still another pack down this way. And this is making for a longer video. But we had a lot of base stuff to do. And the more and more we get into it, the longer these missions are actually going to take. So, um, I think they're probably in the building, but let's see where it, see if it indicates to me where they're coming from. Nothing yet. Let's make some noise, medic. Back that way. So, they're traveling around. They're probably at my starting position right now. There it is. Guy's getting up on the roof. Looks like there's only two of them. I don't have a rooftop battle, huh? I actually probably should have gone one click over right here. 25%, but let's say on suppression. Now, Rookie, what, where can we sneak up on him? That's always a good idea. There's a door right here. That's ah, gonna have to be right here. Let's get the Rookie in the building, sneaking up on him from the side. I've got my shotgun, Croft, over here. She's still going to be sneaking through the building. And then we're going to use our run and gun skill next turn to 
to take out that guy behind who's being suppressed. And you need to reload. Okay, you're coming down. That's a good idea. Right where we need to be. And you can't really hit anybody with your... You tried to side panic me. Okay. Let's see if we can take down this turn. What do we have? A run and gun. Sniper can go here. She won't be able to shoot yet. And she's taking out the reaction shot. Okay. I want him to be suppressed still. Let's just keep that going so he's out of commission. The rookie can nudge up against the door for next turn. And is there a nice little spot where the... Ooh, how about over here? Okay, one more turn. And then these guys are done for. Hunker down in half cover. Okay, oh, I still have my medic. Well, let's take a shot if we have one. 38, sure. Alright, that helped. Suppressing my sniper. Oh, you're going to pay for that. And you shouldn't have any chance of hitting me. Not even close. Okay. That's who we want. Go ahead and open that door. Two flanking shots. So, I've got 100% on both. So I'm going to wait until we get... Another one here. The rookie can come out. Go right here and still have a shot. Flanking shot on this guy. Easy. And then, this is all we have left to do. Another day, another I liked. Did we get anybody that was hurt during that mission at all? We'll see in just a minute. I like it. All right, so we have this rookie just got promoted. We have two rocketeers. Let's get another suppressionist. Sparkle is promoted. So first of all, she has her suppression. Next, we have these three options. Covering fire allows reaction shots from Overwatch to trigger on many actions, not just movement. Basically, if I have somebody in sight and I'm on Overwatch and they decide to shoot instead of run, I can still shoot at them as a reaction shot. That's actually a good one. Flush. Fire a shot that causes enemies to run out of cover. The shot is easy to hit with, but does reduce damage. Working together with your other people, a flush shot would be really good, because then I can flush them out of cover, and then everyone has a flanking shot on this one person. Hollow targeting. Shooting at, a suppressing enemy. Shooting at or suppressing an enemy also confers 10 aim bonus to allies' attacks on those enemies. This is the same kind of a thing. This helps out everyone else. I actually like that one better. Okay, our shotgun specialist. Uh, this is Croft. She already has the run and gun specialty. Another flushing shot. So we already know what that is. Close combat specialist confers a reaction shot against any enemy who is within four tiles. Does not require overwatch. So if somebody steps in within four tiles of them, then she just shoots at them. Which, because she's close range, means they are probably dead. Steadfast, never panic as a result of getting wounded allies. Okay. You know what? That one I just don't see. Compared to the other two, I don't see it being... Man, that one is just so good. Okay. Well, that'll do it for our episode today. That's a little creepy. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for my next episode.